Hey guys, Greenvup here. Today I'm going to teach you the basics of like making memory circuits in Minecraft. So first and foremost, we're going to be emulating this circuit. This is called, no we're not, we're going to be emulating this circuit. Sorry, I had my buttons mixed up. This circuit is called an RS NOR latch. Basically what happens is each of those, so the lines are wires, the letters are where you input to the wires, and um, the gates what they're called are logic gates. If you don't know what those are, you might not want to watch this video yet. But what those are, those are called NOR gates. And what they do is they take two inputs and if either of them are on or if both of them are on, it outputs a zero or no redstone signal. If neither of them are on, it will output a one. So I'll turn the volume, I keep getting music. So what happens there is if you send a redstone signal down the S, it'll set the whole circuit to the output one at Q. And it'll stay that way. Even if you don't put anything else in S, if it just stays at zero after you put the one in, Q will be one and Q prime will be zero. Q prime will always be the opposite of Q. Then if you send something down the R, it'll set the whole circuit to zero. So Q will, Z Q will be zero, Q prime will be one. So we're gonna try and build this, but not using this circuit. I'm gonna build a circuit that does basically the same thing, but I think works a little bit better in Minecraft not entirely sure it takes up less space certainly but it has a mechanical component so we'll see so we're going to build it piece by piece and i'm going to the first part is fairly simple it looks like this so all this has is an s and an input and a q output so the set the s stands for set it sets it to one and the q will just stay at one so we're going to build this bit first first i'm going to build the or gate i need to get my redstone stuff first so we need a redstone we are going to need a button. We're going to need a repeater and a redstone lamp. We're going to need some just decorative blocks to denote parts of the circuit. If I can remember where those are, there they are. So greens are going to be inputs. Red is for going to be a part of the circuit I haven't got to yet. Smooth sands are just going to be filling cracks we make in the world. I think that's all we're going to need. Yes. Okay. So, first and foremost, we're going to build the OR gate, which is going to look like this. So this is an OR gate. If either one of the inputs is one, or both of them are one, the output will be one. So, we're going to make this a bit longer and we're going to connect this up to a button. So see, the output is one. Up at the top, the output is one because it lets it go through here. So now, what we're going to do is you see how the output of the OR gate is connected to the other input. We're going to do that bit. So we're going to make this a bit longer. And over here, we are going to connect this back to input. There we go. And that is that circuit. So right now it's at zero. And if I push the button, it'll be at one. Now there's no way to undo this. This just stays at one for this circuit anyway, but we're going to upgrade this circuit. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so you can set it back to zero with a different input, just like the first circuit I showed you. But this circuit is going to look like this. We're going to add an R and that little box where the R attaches, that could probably be multiple things. What I'm having it be is a piston. A piston and a block. So, so the way we would set this to zero, we actually have to break the redstone and set it back to zero. So instead of having it so we have to break the redstone, we are going to add a piston, a sticky piston specifically. We're gonna put it right there. We're gonna add this red block, the stop block, red for stop. And we are going to wire this up so that we can control it with a button like this one. So, when I hit the button, this redstone piece will come over here and it'll stop the redstone signal that's in here right at this edge. So, we 
turn it on, it has a one. If you want to reset it to zero, you hit this. And it blocks the redstone signal. It doesn't destroy the redstone though, which is nice. It means we can just keep reusing without laying down redstone. So right now what we have is we have the set signal, which is over here, the reset signal, which is over here, and cue the output. Now if we want to make it match that very first circuit I showed you, the RS NOR latch, we're going to have to add a Q prime. So an easy way to do this is to move this up a bit. So there's our output. Now we want to add another output, but we want to have the output be the opposite. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a NOT gate. We need a redstone torch. There we go. And more redstone. And there we go. So what happens is the signal travels into this wire and it goes to both. In this one, it's just whatever came in the wire. So zero, this is off. But this thing this is called a not gate. It flips whatever. So if it's off over here, it's going to be on over here and vice versa. So if we want to set our signal to one through the S input, we do. And it has Q is S, Q prime is zero. Or Oh, Q is 1, Q prime is 0. Now if we reset to set it to 0, Q is 0, Q prime is 1. So this is like a basic working memory. This can store one bit of information, a 1 or a 0, through these uh, inputs. Now you can wire these up to redstones and you can wire this up to a redstone computer. Um, so basically I think I'm, I'm going to turn this uh, redstone computer circuit stuff into a series. I'm going to teach you guys about logic gates and whatnot. I just, I thought this was a good first video to make. I thought it was interesting. So yeah, if you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. There will definitely be more to come. And maybe eventually, I'll go through tour, maybe we'll build a whole computer in Minecraft. It might be pretty fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.